appreciate you spending the time to learn a little bit more about what Coldwell Banker Commercial is all about, and especially in terms of our platform, right? So what we're going to do for you all this morning is do a review of CBC Desk. I'm going to hand it off to Evelyn. She's going to give you kind of an overview and run through of the CBC Desk site, how to navigate it, highlight different sections, tools, resources, et cetera. So we'll talk through that. And then from there, then we'll do a deeper dive into a handful of the tools. We'll spend some time with the demographics tool. We'll talk about the additional research opportunities that are there for you. We'll spend a little time in commercial university. And then depending on how we're looking at time, we might dive into a couple others such as Blue Mail and CBC Brancer. So with that, you're not here to hear me talk. You're here to learn. I'm going to hand it over to Evelyn, let her share her screen and start diving in and giving you an overview on CBC Desk. Hey, everyone. Let's dive in. Let me pull up my desk. And as Evelyn's doing that, I just kind of want to highlight real quick, you know, CBC Desk, this is our central intranet site for Coldwell Banker Commercial. There is a version, My CB Desk, that exists for the residential agents. The navigation and kind of look and feel is very similar, but CBC Desk is only for our 2,800 commercial professionals we have across the United States. They don't have access to it. Um, it's going to have those commercial tools and resources that are available for you. What you would do is go to your web browser, type in cbcdesk.com, press enter. Then it will take you to the login screen. And let me back up just a tad and move this because I want to show you when you log in, it will take you to the login screen. You enter your brand login and your password, click sign in. Now, I'm going to show a lot more apps than what you'll see on yours. I have access to a lot more. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go up here to your picture on the right hand side and update your profile. This is what feeds to CBC worldwide with your designations, your specialties. If you have any other things you want, languages, things like that, you want to do that. The bell to the left of that is any notifications or anything that's coming up with the company. If they have to do a maintenance or anything, tells you when the system is down. The question mark takes you to the help center where we have guides, different things you can go into, learn more about. The heart is where you can actually add any of your favorites. Say if you have a CoStar account or your MLS, you can actually add these to your favorites. So when you go here, it, you don't have to go out to another browser. You can just click on these and it will take you over into that website to where you can actually do things. On the left, the first one is your apps, which has all of your build out, Dash, CBC, BrandServe, Express Docs, Commercial University. On the brand, CBC brand, it talks about our company, our business advantage, roadmap, the CBC swag store where you can buy things, events, the company directory, since I am not in an office, this will be the people that are in your office. Talks about upcoming events. We had our global conference, the ICSC, our elite top two in June. And the resources again is the brand policies, procedures, and staff resources. 
the commercial briefing is more of an overview of what is sent out every Tuesday. It's called the commercial briefing. It outlines what's happened in the past week, any notable sales, different things like that. So if by chance you deleted or something happens, you can always go here and find those. And we have things from the beginning of time here, podcast. Uh, in case you missed it, uh, different things we've done. Under marketing, you can use our email generator to create a professional email. It populates with your information. You fill in some of the stuff. You can copy that and paste that into Gmail, uh, the Cobalt Banker Outlook, different sites. Awards talks about our awards. This is where you'll find the 2021 winner brochure, different logos for brands, for award elite, bronze, different things. Our brand operations has a number of things, our identity standards, our uh, operation pathfinder overview, different press releases. And if you'll notice on the right, there is a heart. So if you find something that you really want to keep in mind, you can click on the heart and it will add it then to your favorites. So you don't have to go looking for it next time or remember where it was. Then we have social media, it's best practices, LinkedIn how to's, our private Facebook group, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook page, LinkedIn's, and then under my business, learning. This is, another, this is another way to get to the commercial university, talks about our courses, marketing trends, land sales, student housing, different reports put together. Under recruiting, there's our value proposition flyer that talks about all that we offer commercial agents, our 2021 at a glance, our CBC way recruiting brochure. Then we have research and Matt, would you like to talk about the research? Sure. So, you know, as you guys can see within CBC desk, there's a lot you can kind of navigate within here. You've got your news, you've got your events, you've got your marketing, and there's a very strong section that we offer in terms of research. Now, this is something we started, you know, really looking at a lot closer when the pandemic started a couple of years ago. And what we've done is we've partnered with a handful of firms um, where some of them, you have the ability to run your own kind of research reports. And we'll dive into those and we'll show you that in a minute. Some of the other ones, we will actually run reports for you and we will create them for you in your local level. So Jane Thorne Leeson, who I know a few of you on the call most likely know, she heads up our research group. So some of those products that we offer though, um, you know, we have it at the national level just because it makes more sense for us to have it. We just, we can't purchase those accounts for everybody. These are expensive products. So we'll run them, you know, give us a day or two and then we'll make these reports available. So a handful that we have assist with lead generation, right? They will give you insights and information in terms of contacts and businesses and who's in your marketplace. So a couple of those to start off with are Hoover's. So Hoover's has a list of, I wanna say 300 million or maybe a hundred million plus, um, you know, businesses across the United States. Let's say you wanna know every auto mechanic shop that exists in St. Augustine. Maybe you wanna know every hotel that's going on, every multifamily developer. We will give you all of that contact information. We've got a broker here in Illinois. He's the king of laundromats. He's like, that's all I do is laundromats across the Midwest. Um, so we give him about once a year, he gets every Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana laundromat. It has their contact information. Um, he will send a postcard to them, just letting them know they're there to assist. We have one specifically for retail as well. So if you want assistance finding, you know, let's say you've got a strip mall and you've got 5,000 square foot of vacant space and you want to know who would be a good tenant to fill that space, we've got one specifically in retail lease track. We can help you with that. 
LexisNexis to help you kind of identify true ownership, kind of help unravel LLCs we have. And then one we also have is Reonomy. So from a Reonomy side, I know every company has access. I think we might have one or two um, within your company, either kind of carry or Todd are aware of. Uh, but Reonomy is going to really help you in terms of prospecting. You want to know who owns a location, what other sites do they own, um, you know, when are their leases upcoming, et cetera. So Reonomy is a great prospecting tool. And we've got that structured where every company, you know, gets one account, um, but we've got a couple for you guys that are out there. So we have that to help you in terms of lead generation. We also will help you in terms of site analysis, right? In terms of how we can get an overview of an exact location. Um, a couple in particular that we have, one of them is Esri. So those of you that are CCIM, I know there's quite a few within your organization as well as with us within CBC. Um, you know, you might get access to Esri via site to do business, right? Through that CCIM platform. We have the full corporate suite available. So if you want help putting together detailed maps, um, overlays, we will put those together for you in terms of Esri maps. One of the most impressive things that we've actually partnered with is a mobile phone tracking company known as Near. Um, so I don't know if anyone has used Near um, previously. Um, if so, feel free to you know uh, chime in or kind of use the chat. But this will actually do. This is kind of Traffic Counts 2.0. So it will track your phone usage and it will say, okay, based on this site location, um, what is your journey look like? What is your path? Where do people stop before? Where do people go after? What are the most popular days? What's the most popular times of day? What are the most popular social channels? Um, I don't know if there's any other screenshots in here, Evelyn, um, that kind of showcase some of the near information, but it's very impressive. Um, no, I keep going down. I think we'll show the void analysis uh, here. So here's like kind of some of the site analysis. So for the near, um, so it will show you what are their hobbies, right? So these people are interested that come to the site. These people are interested in wine and outdoor adventures. It'll actually show you where people are coming from to your restaurant, et cetera. So very powerful data. Um, it says, do they like Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn more? Um, so very impressive stuff. So we'll run this for you. Um, so will uh, Hoover's re uh, retail lease track? Yes, they do have uh, for smaller areas. They have the entire uh, area, uh, entire country covered. Um, so uh, that's that's why we partner with a lot of these firms because we know from Cobalt Banker Commercial, you know, while we're in primary markets, maybe more of a niche play in them. Our focus is secondary and tertiary markets. So um, you will get um, you know all the data for for Traverse City and other you know markets that you're in. So um, there's a lot that exists in terms of research. With that then also, you just put in a simple request. So maybe Evelyn, if you jump back to the CBC desk page. Mm -hmm. um, on here, again, under this My Business Research section, you will see some of the forms that exist within there. So Mobile Data Insights, that's the near information. If you want, um, you know, Reese or Esri or Hoover's uh, Retail Lease Track, you click on that request form. Um, and it will just simply open up a quick form and either Jane or someone else on the team will reach out to you, most likely just give you a call, qualify that this is exactly what you're looking for and need. And I always say, you know, give it a day or so. Don't ask it, you know, 10, 15, 11, 15 in the morning for a lunchtime meeting. We'll, we'll pull the report for you relatively quickly. So this has been great. Um, and again, in particular, that mobile data is really a game changer in the space. It's pretty bleeding edge nowadays. Um, there's only about three companies that are doing it right now, and it's a very expensive license um, that we pay for in terms of getting that for our brokers, for all of you. So um, a lot in, available in terms of research for you. So with that, Evelyn, anything else you want to highlight in desk? No, I think I covered basically a highlight of everything. Yeah. But if anyone has any questions or, or run into a spot that... Uh, Carrie can't answer or some of the other agents, give me a call, uh, send me an email, I can help. Perfect, thanks Evelyn. Um, so let me do this. So I'm gonna, can I share my screen here? There we go, okay. Let me share my screen and we'll dive in. 
to a couple pieces. So I saw a couple comments coming through. Maybe Evelyn, if you see him come over and just want to chime in, that would be appreciative. So I saw mm -hmm. Keith mention, hey, where was that CBC research PowerPoint that just came across? So in CBC desk, if you go to my business and you come to the research section, I believe you just clicked on the CBC research tools right here Correct. at the top. Yep. And then this was the quick 10 page overview of the research tools that exist. So very easy to grab it from there, Keith, and anyone else. Um, here's kind of some of the, the mobile data information as well. Some of the samples of what this looks like. Oh, this is just what it dives into. I've got some samples I can show you also. But what I way did too, way want- too much content. It's a lot of content, I know. Um, <laughs> So we've got all that available, but let's show you how you can run some of your own research reports that exist. So back on the home screen here within CBC Desk, this is where you've got all the apps. Again, this can all be customized. You can click and drag these um, as you want to. You can X them out. You can view them in different ways. If there's for whatever reason, you kind of close one on accident. You're like, oh no, what happened to it? You've got this add an app button um, and you can add it directly back into there. So let me hide my cameras there. Okay. So I want to show you under this My Apps section is a demographics tool. So we updated this demographics provider, I want to say last year, um, kind of over the summer. And in here, what this will do is allow you to run your own custom demographics reports. So we've got roughly 200 fields that are available within here, and there's a multiple of different reports that you have. Now, starting off, if you have your listing information in Dash, right, and then it feeds into the CBC um, desk system, they'll automatically show up. You can just choose one of your listings and automatically run a report so you don't have to input any other data. So that's great. It makes it a lot easier. Less clicks, less typing, the better for everybody is kind of my, my mentality when it comes to this. Now, when we jump back to here, though, um, you also have the ability to do area demographics. So you can put in a zip code, a city, and you know an address, et cetera. You can do custom radii. So maybe you don't want the 135 kind of standard. You want 10 miles, 20 miles, 30 miles. Maybe you're on the coast like a lot of you are, and you do not want to do you know mileage. You want drive time. I want 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You've got that available from there as well. You get traffic flow um, and a few other reports as well. So I'm going to show, for example, here, area demographics. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to, you've got some choices here. So address, zip code, um, state, MSA, county, let's do an address here. So I'm going to do, well, I'll ask you, who's got, uh, somebody want to chime in and say, what is a um, address for one of your offices? What's the Traverse City address? We'll go with that one. 402. Yep. East Front Street, Traverse City. There we go. So it's number two. So you kind of got a smart search. You start typing it in and it'll automatically appear. If I click on that, I'm going to get that office location. Hopefully it looks to be in the right spot. So I'm going to click search. And now what this will do is it gives me the ability to customize my title on here. And we'll just leave it for the sake of this and I'll click continue. And then you've got some choices, right? Do I want just a popular demographics report? We'll dive into this void analysis report next. I want to show you that. Do you want what I call the eye test, right? Just all those, that data. And then you've got some additional reports down below. Do you just want consumer profiles, spending patterns on this location, workplace report, outlook, and then landscape profile. So we're going to do the popular demographics report. Um, this is the most commonly used one. And what this actually is, is this is taking all that raw data, again, roughly those 200 fields for your office location in Traverse City, and it's converting all of that into charts and graphs, right? So for me, that's a little bit easier to digest, to consume, to look at it that way, as opposed to um, just kind of that long Excel sheet. Now, as that's pulling in, it just takes a minute there. Um, see a couple questions, a couple of other addresses. Thank you guys, sorry I missed that. Um, looks like a Hoover's form request. Um, was an issue. We'll take a look into that for you, Kayla. Um, but this sometimes just takes a minute uh, just to kind of pull all this information in. And what a lot of our brokers like about this, and I've seen it used on the residential side as well, is 
it's very easy. You know, within like three clicks, I get this report and everything is going to be branded Coldwell Banker Commercial. Right now, it just has the national CBC logo. Um, what is coming in the next push is it will have your Schmidt Realtors, your Schmidt family of companies, your Premier, whatever your DBA is, will be appearing there uh, within the coming weeks. So um, here is a 16 page report. Um, so I can see the demographics for 402 Front Street in Traverse City. So let me zoom in a little bit here. So here's population. You know, I, I know, you know, Traverse City, you guys are growing quite a bit. So you can see where that's been current year, five year projections, female to male ratio, daytime population, median age. What I like is what they do, these population landscapes, right? Kind of these mosaics. So they'll say, okay, here's the segmentation and breakdown. So nearly 24% are solo acts. Well, what does that mean? Okay, so solo acts, a medium household income is nearly $50,000. Here's their age. They're urban, they're single couple, white. They have families, high school graduation, white collar. And it kind of has a breakdown of all the different um, segments that they find in Traverse City. And there's a greater explanation later on we'll show you. It gets into ethnicity, housing and household values, uh, income, so average household income, education, employment, employment by industry, transportation to work, uh, consumer expenditures, where everybody's spending, breakdown by SIC codes as well under here retail spend. I think that's it. And then it has a, a deeper breakdown into each of the landscape segments that they have here. You know, so here's solo acts and wizards and et cetera. So very easy for you to get a demographics report directly from here. Now, what I also want to show you is the void analysis report. So this is pretty impressive. And this is some useful stuff that you can all use when you're sitting down with your brokers. So what a void analysis report does is this will actually take your site um, that you put in the address and we only do it for like addresses. You can't do it at like city or MSA or zip code level. And it'll say, okay, based on this location, what are good companies? What are good tenants? What would be a good fit for someone to fill this space? Where is there a void in the marketplace there? Thus the void analysis report. So what it's doing is it's taking the site um, it's understanding kind of all, everything about that location. And then it's looking at other local businesses in the area. And then it will score it based upon who they feel is a good fit for that space. So it will have that information. And then it's going to tell you, and I'll show you in a moment, exactly how it scores it. So it's like a zero to 100 scale, like, you know, A, B, C, D, and F. And it ranks everything. And then it will have the contact information of the companies and it will say, okay, based on this location, maybe, um, you know, they're, let's say it's like an Ace Hardware store. I think hardware stores are one of the first ones that pop up. You know, it'll say their normal distance is maybe five miles apart, but the closest one in this location is 20 miles apart, 20 miles away. Because of that and the location fit, this might be a good company that you might want to reach out to and, um, you know, see if they're interested in the space. So pulled down there. So I'm going to click on download now. And here is the void analysis report that's opening up here. So trade area, it says within a seven mile drive within Traverse City here. Okay. So here's a breakdown, kind of what I was explaining a little bit um, for how the void analysis works. And then here are some of their requirements, um, scoring, et cetera. So it'll say, okay, based on square footage and then location, who would be a fit? So starting off at the top, you know, they're saying, okay, you've got Caterpillar here is an A. That's not a great A. It's at an 85%. Um, you know, there's three total, one new one in the area, 2,200 locations in the U.S., 1,300 new. Um, you know, the nearest location is, uh, it looks like three-tenths of a mile, but they're kind of five miles is the closest one from there. Um, you've got Volvo. You've got automotive-type locations. Um, you know, Sunoco, obviously that might not be a fit with your office location and what works, but they're saying, okay, based on the square footage and their locations, they would be worth talking to. 
um, health care. And then if we have them, and for most of them, they should, it will have the contact and phone numbers for those. So this is a great report that you can sit down with your clients with and say, okay, get an understanding of who would be good fits for locations. Let's sit down, let's have a conversation. Any you think that would fit, any I should reach out to, not reach out to, it's good to do that. And then it has a breakdown of companies that are or tenants that are already inside that seven mile drive time as well. Matt, we had a question. Does this break it down by medical specialties? Can they do that? It doesn't, I think it's just, so there's dental within here. I don't think it goes much deeper than that, but we can get some of that information for you. Oh, so here's a healthcare breakdown. That's kind of what you're looking for. Um, so like physical therapy, you know, yeah, retinal eye consultants. Um, there's a little bit of that that exists. And it will score it. I mean, these are all not a great fit um, for location, it's saying, but it'll will have that information. Yeah, and this is a 15 page report for this site optical and vision. So very easy for you to be able to run this report. Um, and again, this is the void analysis report that I got by coming into area demographics and putting in a address. That's kind of where you can get it from. Now on top of that, um, because I like you all so much, I also want to give you a sneak peek of additions that are coming to the demographics tool. So Evelyn and I have been working with kind of our provider and sightseer and kind of the, the IT team. One of the new additions that's coming in the next push we just approved is heat maps. So you will also be able to run, here's kind of one of the sample heat map reports for this is a, this is population density for locations. So these will be included. Um, there's a popular, I think there's four or five of them um, that'll be available. Population growth, um, housing and household values, just a different way, a stronger overlay in terms of, you know, getting an understanding of what's happening in the marketplace. You will all be able to run these within four clicks. You'll be able to get these maps for your sites. So um, that is all under the demographics tool. Now, a handful of things I also want to highlight for you on this call. We also have Commercial University. So Commercial University, this is our learning hub of everything that's going on from an educational standpoint within Cobalt Banker Commercial. So we just got back. I know a few of you were out in Austin, Texas at our global conference. We had a great event there. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Um, and we had a lot of knowledge building and education that was available from that. A lot of that now is kind of carried over into Commercial University. So upcoming soon, this is where you'll find a lot of the recordings presentations that were done there in case you did miss it, you'll be able to find them within here. But there's also some classes that I do want to highlight for everyone. We have a welcome to CBC program. Now this is currently in process of being updated, but what the welcome to CBC program does is it will actually give you a run through of all the tools, products, resources, very similar to what we're doing now. It's about a 90 minute self-paced course that you have the ability to go through. We also have programs that are for the brokers that are new in commercial real estate. We have our CRE Accelerate program. This is about a five to six hour course and it teaches you the fundamentals of what it means to be a successful broker. How do I choose a specialty if that's applicable in my market? How do I start building my business? Of, you know, basic lease first buy analysis, um, financial calculations. Those are all in there. And then we also have our CRE win course. And this is a phenomenal program. We've had a, a iteration of this for about 10 plus years now. And this is for brokers who are new in the business, kind of about 18 months or less, okay? And what it's for is, let's say you've done, you know, a deal or two and you decide, you know what? I'm gonna really give this a go. I'm gonna make a career out of commercial real estate. We do this program two to three times a year. The next one is gonna be kicking off in April. Uh, so I think registrations for this is going to be going out in the next week or two. But this is a eight week long program that will dive more into negotiation, sales tactics. Um, if I come into the schedule here, you go through deal doctoring and it's really great because what happens is everybody kind of comes together. They're of a similar skill set. Um, you know, they feel comfortable opening up and working together. So this is a great program. 
Uh, so that was like week two's financial analysis. And there's Zoom calls and their virtual meetings for about eight weeks. And they're about an hour to two, but you do get homework assignments. You do need to have a mentor within your office to be able to help you out within here. So, you know, marketing yourselves and your properties, additional marketing of properties, uh, building relationships, closing deals and negotiations. So phenomenal program. Um, if you're newer in the business, 18 months to two years or less, keep an eye out for registration when that becomes available. So CRE Win is the uh, online version. Uh, well, I say within with other um, attendees, and then CRE Accelerate is for yourself. But there's other classes as well in terms of helping you build your business. Um, if I click on the left into our learning library, you will find a whole other set of curriculum that's available for you. Um, we have you know links over to the podcast, which I think I put in chat earlier, stuff specifically on build out. I know we've done build out training for you. We can schedule more of those in the future, but if you want videos and guides that are in there, those are available. CCIM, you know, we're number three overall in terms of most CCIM members. And because of that, we have discounts that are available for you to take advantage of. So whether you're going for, you know, just becoming a CCIM candidate, you need to take the 104 course, um, you know, some basic ones, your membership, you can use these codes to take advantage of that. So um, come through this learning library. Um, there's a lot you can kind of really focus on. A couple other I wanna highlight, LinkedIn Learning. LinkedIn Learning, this is more your general curriculum, right? You want help with your setting up a blog, you want help with taxes. Um, I went through it when we started the podcast a couple of years ago. I was like, oh shoot, I need to learn how to edit podcasts. I went through LinkedIn Learning, found the software that I use, and then kind of learned how to use that program from that. We also have within here, uh, Mike Lipsy's library. So Mike Lipsy is a great commercial real estate trainer. He's been doing it for many years. We have his entire video catalog that's available. I wanted to say, yeah, 75 videos, um, database management. Um, this is kind of utilizing uh, the right reach for your prospects, cultivating relationships, um, tenant experience, flash tours. I mean, these are 20 to 30 minutes, um, really powerful stuff, great videos. I know a lot of firms will use these in their local sales meetings, They'll meet for a little bit and then they might highlight one or two, you know, maybe one a month and they'll kind of go through these. So building your teams, great stuff that's available for you all within the Lipsy library. So uh, commercial university, great place to be able to come in. You can also come to the calendar at any time, see what are some upcoming classes that are gonna be available. I know we just did one, I think it was earlier this week. Um, yeah, I'm so turned around. Uh, we did a uh, new to CBC training on Tuesday. That was just kind of an overview of the Cobalt Banker commercial brand. Um, so if you want to see what's happening in terms of classes, you can always come to the calendar section under Commercial University. So you've got the demographics tool. You can run your own reports. You've got Commercial University. You have the ability to get education on a lot of the tools, products, but also in general commercial real estate. There are a couple others I want to highlight for you as well. We also have BrandServe. So what BrandServe is, is this is our marketing platform for yourself, for your company, for your office. So we have BuildOut, we've kind of talked about it a little bit. BuildOut is the e-marketing suite for your listings, for your properties when you want to create flyers and marketing packages and OMs and all those things. Um, you have BuildOut. I know you all are pretty familiar with BuildOut. Um, but let's say you want to start marketing yourselves, right? We're in award season right now. We just kind of passed it. Hopefully a lot of you got designations for circle of distinction levels, you know, top in the state, et cetera. You can come into CBC BrandServe and access some templates specifically for that. Um, so if I click on, let's say the social section here, this will give you social templates, you know, templates for social media. Um, so we've got, you know, Outlook ones that you can just talk about for the 2022. You've got holiday templates, recruitment, year-end statistics as well. All of these are available for you, but we also have awards templates specifically in here. So if I come into this, this will allow you to customize your own awards templates that are formatted and fit for social sharing. So um, here's kind of three pages um, or three different options I can say so you can see the different styles that are available. But you simply come into here and you can click customize and you can, you know, what is a different version of it, an agent, a team, multiple people, et cetera. 
you just put in your name, your information, what style you want, and it will update it for you. So very easy for you to come in here and create your own custom assets for branding of yourselves. Um, there are a handful of other things that you can do within here. If you're ever looking for your logos for your company, I know Carrie has them, uh, but if you just want to come in here and download them, you can get them as well. We've got these virtual backgrounds that I've got up. I saw Linda had it as well. Um, you can customize that in here also. So if you want some updated virtual backgrounds to be able to use in your offices, those are available in here as well. And let me see if I click through. And you can actually add like your first name, last name, phone number, email. Um, I think it's nice just to have some additional contact information on the screen. You can download those directly Matt, from here. Matt, I'm yes. sorry. Kayla has a question. Kayla, can you unmute and, and ask your question, please? Um, can you hear me? Yes. So I was wondering if we have a uh, downloadable thing for Word or PDF for listing appointments um, where you it shows about the company, about um, why you would choose the company and the listing agent. Like you kind of edit it yourself. Put yeah. In. Yeah. Um, so we just launched this piece last week um, at our global conference. So this is our client commitment. So this talks about the power of Coldwell Banker Commercial, like why you should work with me. We're in 40 countries, 500 plus markets, 2,600 brokers, right? Talks about our services, um, presence, uh, you know, why you should work with us, right? Different specialties. Then we also have this power in numbers. This piece, um, these are national stats. These are all, this, can, this page can all be customized. So you can put in here information on Schmidt, on Premier, um, on whatever it might be, and agents can do it as well. There is a digital version, I want to say, is already up here. I think it's under this marketing section. If I scroll down, doo -doo -doo, maybe it's not up yet. Uh, it might not be up yet, but it's being added, you know, any day now. And then you can also via Express Docs, you will be able to order physical copies that you can have customized as well for your offices. So you can have your version with, you know, the CBC, C Schmidt family of companies, add your own statistics in there, have a bunch of them at your offices so that when people are walking out to a listing appointment, they can just grab it and it's a nice lead behind to have. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's up here yet because we just shared it last week in person. Um, oh, it is here, client commitment. You can customize this, order it and get physical copies. Is that what you're looking for, Kayla? Hopefully. Um, yeah, for the most part, just. Okay. If you have something else that you would like to see, if you want to just, you know, a version of it, if someone wants to share that with me, we can kind of see what we can do. But yeah, we know that a lot of brokers will want to just have a nice lead behind and kind of talk about themselves and the company um, and be able to work with. Okay. Uh, so you've got BrandServe for marketing of yourself, of your company. Um, you've also got a few things in terms of blast email that exist within CBC desk. So there is a third party company known as campaigner. Um, we work with them. Campaigner allows you to send out blast emails to your contact list. So you can load in your contacts. Let's say it's your Chamber of Commerce, your multifamily, your industrial brokers, whoever it might be, you can load them into here. And then from there, there are actually Cobalt Banker commercial templates that exist. The nice thing about Campaigner is because they are a third party, you get uh, general templates that exist as well. So I feel like I got a couple St. Patty's Day emails as well already from people. You want those, those are already in there. You can load in your contact lists and send out blast emails using Campaigner. There is also within Desk our own internal blast email tool known as Bluemail. So what Bluemail does is it allows you to send out targeted blast emails across the Cobalt Banker commercial network. So within here, what this will allow you to do, there are a couple of restrictions for them. 
So first off, in terms of restrictions, if you want to send out emails, you also got to receive them as well. It's only fair. So you can't say, hey, everybody, you got to see what's happening over here in Florida, but eh, you guys are on the wrong coast over in California. I don't really care. I don't want you pushing on me. The other one and kind of the biggest one is each one of you as brokers are limited to two blue mails a month. That's it. That's all. And those do not carry over. The reason being is we all get too many blue mails, you know, too many blue mails, too many emails that exist to begin with. So because of that, we just kind of make you want to think about it a little bit. So if I come into here and I hit compose new, I get a list of states and options. It's just one screen, very easy to be able to send it out. So if I want to send an email to every broker that we have across Cobalt Banker Commercial, not Cobalt Banker, just Cobalt Banker Commercial, across Florida and Georgia, you can do that. If you want to send it to everybody across the United States, you can do that as well. However, there's no select all button on purpose. We're going to make you squint and click on all those little boxes that we got right there. Uh, our friends in the north in Canada, you can include it with them. Um, as well as the countries we are in internationally. So I got to imagine you're saying Croy Brokers. I don't see, is that Virgin Islands? My geography, I just, just passed. So yep. um, you're right. we would, yeah, is that it? Yep. Yeah. So, and now it won't go to the individual, um, your individual sales professionals there within kind of the Virgin Islands. It's going to go to kind of managers and owners because that's kind of the only contact information we have, but you still have the ability to communicate out. And then you could target it by specialty as well. So you can say, I want every generalist and, you know, multifamily broker. And I could say 50 plus unit complex, um, you know, more than Florida, you know, putting a little personal message if you want to, and then you can choose your property. So your properties all automatically feed over from Dash. I've got a bunch of just dummy kind of test data that exists within here. So what's something that looks the part? Um, I don't want to do buy listing necessarily. Sure, we'll do this one in Lafayette. So if I hit preview, I get a preview of my blue mail message. So this is coming from myself, Matt Cornfine, to agents in Florida and Georgia who specialize in general commercial real estate and multifamily. We don't show the email addresses because I don't want a bad apple to go in there, copy them all, store them in their system, and then just kind of work around it. Um, here's the subject line, personal message. Um, if I put it in, it would show up right there. And then here's just kind of some information on the property, your property description, contact information, everything comes over and you can very easily hit send from there. So it's a nice way for you to be able to kind of communicate out, you know, across you know, the CBC network, what's going on, tell your clients like, Hey, I will send out your listing to every broker, you know, in the state or every broker across the United States, you can do that. The other thing is the only fields that are required are those with that standard red asterisk and property is not required. So about half the blue mail messages sent out are haves wants. Hey, I'm looking for X amount of space in Y market. Does anyone know any, know of anything or have anything? So it's a great little blue mail to or way to be able to communicate out across CBC. So you've got blue mail for internal communications. You've got campaigner for your contact lists. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that are going on within CBC desk in terms of the tools, the resources that exist, but just because we have them here doesn't mean we're stopped, right? So there is a couple other things that I want to highlight in particular that are coming in the near future for you in regards to the Coldwell Banker commercial. So let's start from the marketing side. One of them I want to point out is our listing syndication. So you may or may not be aware, we partner with a lot of companies and then syndicate out your sites on, on that behalf. One of them we've just finalized this week and will be coming live in probably about two weeks now is a relationship with Yardi and the Commercial Edge platform. So your listings will sync to Yardi's um, you know, platform, which is like Property Shark, Commercial Cafe, a couple other commercial sites it will be syndicating over there. On top of that, Yardi has launched a new platform known as Commercial Edge. And they were over in Austin um, working with brokers. So if you wanna get an understanding of your marketplace, do some more research, there is a two week trial that will be available for you to be able to take advantage of. So if you wanna take a look at Yardi and their new Commercial Edge product, which is more for the brokerage side of the business, that will be coming in a couple of weeks. So we have that. The other thing we are about to announce is a relationship with a company known as RE Back Office. So RE Back Office has been around for many years now. 
Um, and they really focus on customized marketing solutions. So you've got build out so you can create your OMs and your flyers, et cetera. You've got brand serve so you can create marketing materials for yourself. But sometimes you need to go above and beyond, right? And sometimes you might not have the capabilities locally there or know who to turn to. So that's where RE back office can come into play. So this is a relationship that we have that they will actually create all of these custom materials for you. They have the identity standards and kind of the look and feel of CBC, but let's say you need to get a floor plan created. You want, you know, rendering versions of it. You want site plans, stacking plans, um, interactive versions. Again, you can get a 2D stacking plan for 150 bucks, right? This is stuff that not everybody has the capability to do. So if you want to get these, they will create them on your behalf. And again, you're not going to do it for every one of your, your clients, but in some particular cases, you might find the need to do that. So we have this relationship available. You know, you can get rendering started at 300 bucks. I mean, that's pretty cheap considering, um, you know, their turnaround time should be, you know, a couple days. If you want also in particular custom OMs, um, custom flyers, brochures, I know like the Kite team, they do a ton with build out. And build out's great for a lot of those standard marketing packages. Let's call it, you know, eight to 10 million and below. But sometimes you need something a little bit more unique, different to stand out. You can create your own custom OMs working with this team um, and have them available for you. So this will be coming. I think we're targeting a launch for this, an announcement in the first week of April, which is just two weeks from now, too. So. All of that is coming. And on top of that, we are going to be, we're working and we're in active development now of the new cbcworldwide.com. So we showcased that at our global conference. We had a little teaser video that kind of highlighted, you know, what's coming with Coldwell Banker Commercial. It's launching later this year. That's kind of the best I can share at this time, but it's not going to be like New Year's. It's, it's coming sooner than that. Um, and we're kind of totally <coughs> revealing, you know, the look and feel of, you know, CBC Worldwide to really showcase where we've come as a brand as well as part of Operation Pathfinder and kind of our focus and kind of change in direction within Coldwell Banker Commercial. So with that, you know, that highlights, you know, hopefully for you, a lot of what's going on within the Coldwell Banker Commercial Desk site and platform. There's a ton of resources that exist within here. What I will say, though, is that not everybody uses everything, not by any means, right? And that's one of the great things that's available with you all being a part of the Schmidt, you know, family of companies is that you can pick and choose what works best for you. You know, if you want to use the, the demographics tool to get some of that information as well, you want to work with Todd and Carrie and the rest of the leadership group to get more marketing materials talking about Schmidt and your regional coverage and maps, you have all of that available. What I would suggest is, you know, go in every so often, try to learn one new product a month um, to go through and learn that and really get an understanding of it, see if it works for you or if it doesn't. So with that, that kind of wraps up a lot of what I wanted to cover today. And I know we got still a few minutes, but I want to ask any questions, comments, um, concerns, whether it's about this or other things that are going on within CBC, because I know this was a lot focused on the platform, there's a heck of a lot of other things happening. Um, you know, we'll be out at ICSC in May and I'm just working through our new booth of what that looks like. So if anyone's going to be out there, we'll have a great presence in Vegas in May. Um, we've got kind of our top two trip coming up. We got leadership that I think probably a couple folks will be at uh, for your company up in Boston next month. But any questions on anything else that's going on? Matt, I do have a question for Bob Buckmaster. He's asking yep. about the 10 year cash flow model. Where was that located? Yep. So that is, if you go under my business, right at the top here, you've got a financial analytics tools. There's a 10 year cash flow and a five year cash flow model. We've also got some of the CCIM. These are kind of those basic Excel documents that are kind of macroed out, um, you know, lease first buy, lease first purchase um, analysis input. So CBC desk, click on my business. So the lead generation resources, okay. So those were in the research section here again. So if you come in, if you want a detailed deep dive into each one of them, right? So we talked a little bit about Hoover's, we talked a little bit about um, retail lease track, um, Lexus, Nexus, et cetera. We have deep dives and information. I wanna say on each one of them here, we just had that Hoover's form. 
Oh, that's there. So if you come into these CBC research tools tab, or link, I should say, this will give you some information on the lead generation right here. So on the left-hand side here, as I mentioned, we've got a relationship with retail lease track. This will give you information on specific tenants that would be a good fit. So if I click on like retail lease track capabilities here, this will showcase what are the uses for it, the focuses, how you can search, et cetera. Now, the other thing I will say is what's great, I would say about kind of our research team and Jane is that you don't need to be an expert in these things. You don't need to be an expert in the platforms of retail lease track versus Hoover's versus, you know, LexisNexis. Just let us know what you need and we will find the best resource for you to be able to provide that information to you. Um, so Hoover's is one, it's gonna give you information on businesses that are in your marketplace. Um, Reonomy is gonna give you, now Reonomy is a little different because we have it at the company level for you at Schmidt. It will help you, um, you know, find out what other um, buildings that people own, you know, any debt that's on it, um, different owners, et cetera. And then LexisNexis is going to help unravel LLCs to tell you who's on executive boards involved in those businesses there as well. So I would suggest if you want to, if you're just looking for something in particular, um, come to this request form, which hopefully works, um, and just fill out, you know, your request and we'll find the right data for you. Thank you. Yep. Anything else? Uh, yes, Keith, I know, um, I think it was being recorded. It is. Folks. Yes, yep. it is. It'll be on our Schmidt Video Classroom under our commercial training playlist. Okay. Well, I appreciate the time, everyone. Thanks for being a great audience and staying engaged. If you have any questions, please don't ever hesitate to reach out to your group and leadership you have within Schmidt, but also myself, Evelyn, the rest of the commercial team. We are here to help. Um, don't be strangers. Always feel free to reach out. We work very closely with all of our brokers. We're 2,800 commercial professionals. We're a big high school. Like we, we can all work and kind of play together here. So um, thanks for the time.